So I think the solution to the to the live guitar lessons disappearing is to do these follow up tutorials and fill you in on what we did, and then you can pause them. I think and um, learn that way, learn a bit slower. So I'll do these after every live session that we do and um, you can practice and then you can send me your progress and um, that probably is the easiest way of doing it. So this is for top of my window, this is all in standard tuning, that's E, A, D, G, B, E, wow, it's been a while. So top of my window is all mostly bar chords. And bar chords are kind of the foundation of um, standard tuning. And uh, you can make a bar chord minor that way, taking off your middle finger. That's a minor one uh, upper string. That's its major version. So I'll take you through section by section. So the first section, the verse, is A major. C sharp minor, G major, and B minor. So, he taps at my window, willing that I let him in. That's, um, that's that. And, uh, and then you've got these two note chords, and I don't know the names of them, but it's A in the bass, G um, in the bass, F sharp in the bass, and then a sort of grace note, a passing note, which is an open E. Maybe I'll write him a story. Maybe I fall asleep in his arms. Maybe I wake up lonely and fall away again until you calm me down. And then you're into first position, what's called first position, which I guess is like the primary colour chords at the top of the neck. And these are usually what people learn first, so like C major, D major, G, and A. So for this section it's A minor, E major 7, which is E major without the fourth finger, which is just a passing chord, and F. So, trying to find all an emotion you cannot deny. I will not have him treat me this way. So that's it. That's all. That's all pretty simple. It was written when I was sixteen, so it um, reflects that, and you can. Have a play along. I'd say that's that's beginner. Um, and of course, it's the same chords as Lay Lady Lay. Lay Lady Lay, lay across my big bear's bed. So, uh, two for one. And uh, and then also in the live thing we did Noel, which is definitely much more complicated, mostly because of the finger picking. <clears throat> so I'll show you that, but I won't I won't go into the details of it because it's just easier for you to learn on, on the internet somewhere else. So the thumb's working quite hard. <laughs> you know, the videos that you guys sent me of you playing it was all much better than I played it. Um, but if you do want to learn finger picking, I recommend Googling rockabilly style, which is how I would refer to that style of finger picking, but um, it's kind of the Chet Atkins early 50s style. And also Johnny Flynn plays a lot in that style. I think, I believe he uses a thumb pick, um, which is a whole other world, one I'm not familiar with. So that's that. And the chords are the primary color C, meaning the first position C. And then G over A7 minor, uh, A minor 7. I don't know what that one is, but we're moving up there. A major 7, hammering off 
the uh, G. And then F with the open top and bottom strings, I think you just don't bother playing those. But that's the same as an F bar chord, it's just slightly differently played. You get that nice open string. And then back home to C. And that's this arrangement. It's good to know. That easy switch between F and C. Um, that's for the country. Or sometimes I go walking through fields where we walked long ago, where the sweet used to be. And da, da, da. <laughs> it's Dolly, the Sonny and Chat actually. And uh, that's the that's the basis of a lot of those songs. Um, so I'll do that for you again, and then I just want to say two things that I think can really help your guitar playing, especially your melodic writing. So, so that's the intro, that, well that's the beginning bit of Noel. The other, I can show you the other chords, but that is a bit sent me people remembered how to play that top top section which I had forgotten actually so um, that was very helpful <laughs> thank you and um, and I, I've got two things I'd like to say one is that sounds a bit like blackbird but you, the, the, a really great way to open up your chord vocabulary is to either look up or figure out even better how to play chords in different positions on the neck so and that is the foundation of a song like um, I'd like to say that I could have stayed but she didn't want me to and probably more famously the root things like that Blackbird which I actually don't know how to play so that is good and you can do that with so if you, if you know the primary colour chords C A D G recommend a good thing to practice is to, to, to figure out all of their positions in the neck it's probably like I mean there's probably infinite but it's probably like seven clear p ways you can play them um, so I'd recommend doing that it's a bit of exercise a bit of finger exercise and um, I will continue to do the, the live guitar lessons I'm actually really enjoying them so um, it'd be very nice if you could join me for some of them, but um, maybe you don't have to join for all, just the songs that you like or the tunings that you want to know more about. And I will let you know, you know, in good time when I'm going to do them. I'll probably do them twice a week. Um, and yes, and I'll continue to try and write the tab as well. Um, in the meantime, I hope you're very well and um, coping okay in this, what is turning out to be one of the stranger things to ever happen to the planet. So, uh, yeah. All right, that's it for me. And I will see you, I'll do the rounding man one now. So I'll see you very shortly.